Hey, it's me, Riker. Today we're going to have a look at my Floor 104 Clear in the Temporal Rift. So as you can see here, I'm progressing through the Temporal Rift. I'm always choosing the easiest enemies to attack. So this is either the common or the epic enemies. Always if you get a Resurrect Beacon, a Healing Beacon, or the Twins Beacon, always go for them as that is a free level pass unless you want to go for relics however in my case i'm already at the max relics and therefore i don't need to keep on increasing my relics once you reach floor 100 you'll have to attack the continuum boss again he has more, more health and he deals a lot more damage so you'll have to be prepared for that i used my Razul Daemon team, as both of these heroes scale off the enemy's stats. This allowed me to easily clear this boss and progress onwards into the 100 plus floors. Once you get to the 100 plus floors, you are, you are greeted with two enemies to defeat per floor. So, once you get to that stage, it is best to look at what the enemy's... Uh, weaknesses and strengths are so if for example you are a graveborn and the enemy is a wilder it's preferred that you go to another team attack another team that is more into your advantage as the scaling is quite hectic in this event as you can see here in this particular case the enemies are four times stronger than my heroes and this easily goes up to five times even higher than that once you have the specific relics and the specific outer tree branches upgraded correctly. I've also focused on three branches in particular, the, ma the mage, the tank, and the support branches. I have maxed these out in order to progress as far as I can. Don't spread your resources out between heroes that you are not using or that won't really benefit you that much. So, for example, in the Auna Grez team, you could use Auna. However, you have to invest into the warrior tree because Auna is a warrior. And I decided against this. Instead of Auna, I would rather use someone like a Daemon or a Taelin. You can provide a similar benefit to Auna as Taelin can heal and basically distract enemies. And Daemon can deal a significant amount of damage. And both of these heroes are very tanky in their own respect. So as you can see, I'm still easily progressing through these enemies, always choosing the weakest out of the two. And it so far is going so good.